everyone and welcome to my corner of the world. Today I'm going to be sharing some of the newer products that Stampin' Up! has bought over the, out over the last couple of months and that's uh, these uh, the dies that uh, make these um, these letters as well as the lovely glimmer paper I've cut them from and then if you have a look you'll see that they these letters are quite uh, thick they're on a sort of a spongy uh, base and uh, that's one of the, another of the new products so let's go ahead and see what we've got so here's the the glimmer paper and you can see it's kind of a rainbow uh, um, a set of colors and you can either um, uh, cut your letters out so that you get different colours by going this way or if you want to focus on a particular colour you can uh, use um, cut your letters sort of this way. So the next is the dies. Now these um, are Oh, great, because they've got not only do they have letters, but they've also got numbers. You can see a, an, an eight there. And we've got things like hashtags and um, colons and and um, an exclamation point. So there's some really um, a great variety there. Now, the other great thing about these is, is that some of the letters there are two of so like there's like there's two two l's um and there's two e's there's two a's um like there's two a's here some of them have i were already taken off uh, ready for my project and then finally they've got printed on them the where the the letter goes so that you know number one if you've got one missing and secondly you know where it goes back when you're putting them back together again so that that that's a really uh, great um uh set of dies and then our third that i'm going to show you that all work together are the foam adhesive sheets and you get a packet um there's i think what's what six by six and there's six in in a packet and these are our nice thick foam um, pads that are double sided um, adhesive. So let's go ahead and make a start. So I found that it works um, better um, if you um, cut um, a length. Um, I'm going to be using the colours going across. Um, and then we're going to stick a piece of the um, foam adhesive foam on the back so i'm just going to cut a big the piece that's a roughly the width of my strip of glimmer paper now as far as i know there is no difference between the back and the front they're exactly the same so you're just going to pull one off and then just i'm going to i've already had a piece up there you can see i've already done some cutting so i'm just going to um sort of butt it up against the piece I already had and press nice and firmly. Then I've got my 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 dies and I'm going to position them on like this and because I want variations of colour I am going to leave a little bit of a gap between them and I'm going to just spell out my words. Now this is, I'm spelling out hello and I partly chose this word because it demonstrates how you've got two L's. And then I'm using um, some washi tape um, to, to stick them down with. Um, you can use um, like a, this adhesive tape as well. Something to just hold them in place. Let me just do like that. And just press down in firmly in between. I'm going to use this now. Um, just press firmly down in between, just so that the tape tacks onto your glimmer paper like that. And then I'm just going to gently trim one end. And I'm just going to fold the other end of the sticky down. All right, so now I'm going to get my big shot. Now, as you know, this is retired now and I haven't yet got my um, my new um, cutting machine from Stampin' Up! 
but this one works just as well. So I'm using the base plate and then the thin die adapter. And then I've got one clear cutting plate. Now with this particular Big Shot, I know I need to have a little shim in there. Um, every Big Shot is different, um, but that's what I know on mine. And now I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna flip it over so that it's face down. And that means that the cutting edges of the of the dies are facing upwards and then i've got my my piece of my second palette on top it it snapped um a while ago but it still works perfectly so i'm going to use it now i'm just making sure that this goes through slowly and that's because i want to give the time the pressure on the rollers to cut through what after all is quite thick um, uh, material to cut through and if you look uh, you can probably see that you can see the letters all nicely marked out so I'm going to just gently really take that and move everything out of the way and here I have my letters so all I'm going to do is to gently um, poke them out uh, use this end and just gently pull away the dies. Some came, some didn't. So I'm just gonna ease that one out and ease this one out. And they're quite strong. Uh, there's not too much um, fear of um, tearing the letters. Because they've got, they're nice and, um, solid now there we go i'm trying to get them out without taking the backing off there we go i think that's the best way to do it so there we've got our letters cut out so i've already started a card and i've i've, I've got poppy parade and um i've i've put a layer on this is with the old world embossing folder here and um, I have already cut some out, uh, letters out. And this time I used the silver foil. So you can see that it will cut silver foil. It will also cut regular card as well. So what I want to do is, is to um, attach my this piece. I've just layered it onto a two inch and then a two and a quarter inch circle like this. That. and then I'm going to use my letters like this and I'm going to use the the outer circle here to line up my my letters so I've got something for them to um, um, sort of um, I don't know uh, layer up to or butt up to there Alrighty, so this is going to be my first one and you're just going to take off the backing like that and this is going to go and I'm just going to put my the, the bottom of the H there like that. So this is a case of a spacing right and then the back of the E like that and I'm going to do the O next because I want to make sure that it's evenly spaced there we go and then I'm going to put this one right dead upwards so that it's in the sort of the center there and then my final one is gonna go there so we've got it saying hello hello you like that and it looked a bit plain so i think i'm going to put a little daisy just cut with it with this medium daisy punch i've just got two stuck together there 
and this is the center of the O and so I'm going to take the backing off and I'm going to pop it right in the middle of my daisy and just fluff up. So there you see how to use those dies with the adhesive sheet and the glimmer paper. Really, really cute, don't you think? Well, thanks for joining me today. If you click on the link at the bottom or oh, beneath this video, it'll take you to my blog where you'll be able to see some more information on this card. Thanks for your time. Bye for now.